The home equity line of credit or the HELOC has long been one of my favorite financial products. Heck, I even wrote a whole book about how to use my HELOC to pay off your mortgage. The home equity line of credit is a great financial tool that you can use to reach a variety of financial goals, whether you want to pay off high interest debt, invest in real estate, or pay down the principal balance of your primary residence. Now, I get a ton of questions about using HELOC. So this video is going to act as a resource to answer some of those most commonly asked questions. Now, if you've got equity in your home and you've ever considered using that equity to reach your financial goals, this one is for you. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I won't be going into the mechanisms of equity in this video, but if you're unclear about what equity is, how to build it or access it, check out this video. It's called The Ultimate Guide for Leveraging Your Home Equity to Invest. I put a lot of work into that video, so we'll have it linked up here, I think in a card that floats up above here and also in the description below. Now, with that being said, let's get into this HELOC FAQ, including my top tips for using a home equity line of credit in 2024. How much can I borrow with a home equity line of credit? That's question number one. Well, most banks will allow you to access up to 85% of your available equity, but this can vary based on your lender and your personal finances. So 85%. Again, it's amazing, right? If you've got a, you know, if you've got $100,000 in equity sitting in your home right now, you could pull out $85,000 and use that to buy investment real estate. Next, how does the interest rate work on a HELOC? Great question. The home equity line of credit works differently than most financial products because it has a draw period and a repayment period. And here's how it works. The draw period is usually five to 10 years. That's the time you usually have to use it, basically. Then the product kind of evaporates, disappears, closed down, then you have to go get another one. And during this time, you only have to make payments on the interest. Then when the repayment period kicks in, you're required to pay both interest and principal payments. The repayment period typically lasts 20 years. Now, another thing about this, you know, which is different about the HELOC, is that it has a variable interest rate. So unlike your mortgage, which you're locked into, you aren't locked in at a certain rate on your HELOC. As the baseline rates adjust, then like we've seen over the past few years, the HELOC's interest rates will also go up or down based on what is happening with these interest rates. So it is going to be variable, not fixed and locked in like your 30-year mortgage. Where can I find a HELOC is the next question. The best place to start is at your local banks and your local credit unions. Let me tell you why. Because these smaller institutions can usually offer the most favorable rates and terms. They are flexible. They are up against Bank of America and Wells Fargo and these big boys, right? So they have to compete. And the way that they can compete is on favorable rates and terms. The other thing to consider is that different states have different laws. So staying local is going to be your safest bet. And often these local banks know the neighborhoods. They know the growth. They know where the schools are. They know where the businesses are going in. So local is always going to be better. What can I use the funds for is our next question. There are really no restrictions on what you can use a HELOC for. I wouldn't advise using it, though, to buy liabilities. You're taking this amazing amount of money that you have now, and you're going to go out and buy a car or a boat. But it might be more financially intelligent for you to use the funds to you know, buy performing assets, go out and buy rental properties or a business. If you have to, you know, if you have to make improvements to the home you live in, you could use it for that. Although I wouldn't advise it unless you have some big repair that you need to make. I mean, why would you want to take money out of your home and then put it right back in it when you could use that money to go out and buy performing assets, right? It just doesn't make much sense to me. Or you could even use it to pay down higher interest debt. So you've got an amazing home equity line of credit and you've got 33% from an old Macy's credit card that you forgot about. You could use that home equity line of credit to target that higher interest debt, or maybe you've got a high interest student loan debt that you want finally paid off. You know, another option is to get out of debt. All right, our next question. How does a HELOC differ from a cash out refinance? One of my great questions here. A HELOC is sometimes referred to as a second mortgage, meaning it's an additional product, right? A cash out refinance, however, replaces your existing mortgage. Now, although the HELOC and the cash out refinance serve a similar purpose, they're two totally different financial products with totally different rates and totally different terms. The HELOC is usually the cheaper way to borrow against the equity in your home. Personally, I've always used the HELOC, but your mileage may vary. Can I get a HELOC on my rental property? Another great question. Maybe. 
and it can be much more difficult to obtain a HELOC on a rental property than your primary residence. That being said, it is possible. For whatever reason, the banks often consider investment properties to be riskier, which never made much sense to me. It really doesn't because you think about the person that owns rental properties, if they own the home they live in, and then they also own rental properties, it, it, it says to me that person is financially intelligent. They've made decisions that have allowed them to buy performing assets. Why is that riskier? I'm not a bank. I don't get it. There's not a big market for HELOCs, though, on rental properties, but they do exist. So be prepared to shop around. You can find them. You just have to work for them and find them. Here's another question. So it sounds great. Are there any disadvantages to a HELOC? Sure. The HELOC isn't for everyone. If you're in a position where you can't afford the extra payment or your debt to income ratio could be negatively impacted by an additional loan, it's probably not the correct strategy for you right now. It's also worth noting that anytime you unlock your equity, you're leveraging against your home. That can be risky, right? What if you lose your job? How are you paying your mortgage back? Now you've got two mortgages on your property. Yeah, it can be risky. So you need to do your own due diligence. Talk with your banker. Be sure to run the numbers before you go down this rabbit hole. There are many other benefits to having access to a line of credit. It's like having a backup credit card for a rainy day, except you can use it to purchase performing assets like rental real estate. And I got to tell you, smart investors are always putting themselves in a position to access capital when they come across an opportunity to, to you know, have a solid investment, to buy a solid investment. They've got capital lined up that they can deploy like that. That's what I like about the HELOC, right? Because when you get the HELOC, you start with a zero balance. Zero. And they give you a line of credit that you can use however you want. So you could use it, sit on it, have a zero balance, and wait for that perfect you know, investment opportunity that pops up, and you can use it and jump on it. Plus, if you don't use the funds, you're only out the closing costs and the origination fees. You know, and so you're sitting on this great line of credit that you can leverage at any time. So if you have an additional questions about the HELOC, feel free to ask it in my inbox by going to morrisinvest.com slash Clayton. You can record a 30 second voicemail question there. Be sure to eliminate any background noise and leave out any personal info beyond your first name and your location. Be sure to check out my full playlist on HELOCs and using home equity. And we'll see you next time, everyone.